Hi everyone, I wanted to do a video on how to learn songs quickly and effectively. This isn't going to go into stuff like how to become skilled at your instrument, how to uh, learn one song perfectly, and like how to train your ear, because those are things that just take years of practice. But there are something, some little tips as far as efficient practice and memorization that I can share with you and that you can benefit from right away. Starting with lyrics, lyric websites, they're usually very accurate. You shouldn't be worried about that. Everybody else is using them, so uh, they're as inaccurate or accurate as you. No one's really going to care if there's tiny differences. Sheet music is usually good because people have to work to make that anyway so they're gonna do it right the first time. Where I'm seeing a lot of bad things online is in tabs because they're so easy to do and so many of them are so hard to follow and so inaccurate. It's actually at this point it's quicker for me to learn by ear and that's mostly that's the fastest way to learn songs is to just develop your ear very well. Now on some specific parts I might try to find a tab that's halfway decent but most of the time the, the ear is more effective. One more quick word about tabs. Um, it's good to use them combined with your ear. So you can use the tab as a reference to say um, figure out what fingerings are effective or get a ballpark of what notes they're playing but then what you want to do is really listen to the original and fine-tune that. Another thing that can help supplement learning by ear is knowing a little bit of music theory. Some things I've found helped personally is um, knowing certain chord progression cliches like things that tend to happen a lot. The classic 2-5-1 also a lot of secondary dominance which is great because you can hear one chord and then unless it's a deceptive re resolution, but most of the time it's going to resolve to a very predictable chord. And knowing music theory helps you know what that chord is. So um, that's just a little icing on the cake that helps. The last one is YouTube, which is great for finding the original song so you can hear it. Um, but you also have to be careful because like ads can take up time and stuff like that. So what you want to do is just find the song. Don't use the music video. Try to find like a lyric video or something because sometimes the music videos have like long intros and stuff. Find a lyric video. Go to youtube-mp3.org, import it, download it, and do that with all your songs and make a big playlist. Now the reason I say to uh, put the songs in the playlist um, is because it helps prevent what I'm going to call hyper drilling, which is when you try to learn a song by playing it over and over again like 10 times in a row. Um, that actually doesn't work so well because you'll play it that 10 times and then you'll just forget it because you're not leaving space and then going back to it. It's all about leaving some time to allow you to forget some things and then go back and see what you remember and then you'll notice that there's less to remember on the second run through and then you'll you'll learn that and then usually by like the third time through you'll have a pretty general understanding of how the song goes that's not to say drilling is bad it's just that there's a time and place for it and that it's best in moderation So I hope that was helpful. Uh, if you like this video, please uh, subscribe and I'll be sure to make uh, more whatever you need help with musically or otherwise. Um, throw that in the comments. I'm here for you. I want to share knowledge. So hope this was helpful uh, knowledge for you. And until next time.